Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me on this demo of Age and Vine. It's pretty incredible, we're really excited about it. It's brand new and it's a totally different kind of ad network. One that's made for AI agents, so let's get started. So let's say you're a developer and you've been working on a personal assistant agent. Maybe you're sharing it on GitHub or putting it into an agent directory and you want to monetize your hard work. If you're new to the HMI platform, you would click get started up here. But in this case, I've already signed up, confirmed my email and have a developer account. So I'll just go and sign in here and select developer and sign in. So the first place you land is on the developer but dashboard. I don't have any agents connected yet. So this dashboard is empty for now. I want to connect my personal assistant agent I'm working on to the Yijivine platform. So let's start by installing the SDK first. I'm going to click here to see the Yijivine SDK over on NPM. Uh, we just need to install this bit of code we see right here. So let me go over to my IDE where I have my personal assistant agent I created. I'll paste the install code in my terminal here and you can see in your volume package is right. Uh, I still need to add my agent to the agent platform so let's go back over on the dashboard and I'll click add agent. I'll tell agent bind my agent's name and the type in this case chatbot and no enter description let's see yeah you know my agent just helps users with daily tasks travel and dining recommendations so I'll put that here, okay. Uh, these tags here, these are optional. Uh, we're gonna skip it for now though. Okay, now the agent is added, we can copy the agent ID and the secret key. So I go back into my IDE. I'll paste both of those into the agent code. There we go. And I will run the agent. Okay. There we go. Now, back over on Agevine, it's showing connected and is now recording the logs. You can even see it in the playground here. So uh, you'll get like real-time logs here too as well. So that's it for the developer setup. My agent is now live in Agevine Network, ready to receive offers that advertisers have set up and choose if and when to present them based on user intent and context. Next, we'll look at the advertiser side. So. Let's say you're a company with a product or a service to promote. Maybe it's a travel app, a tool for remote teams, or an online course. You want your offer to show up in the right moments inside real agent conversations. So let's look at how each of my works for an advertiser. If you're new to Age of Vine, you would sign up here, but I'm already signed up with a verified email, so I will just sign in as an advertiser. Okay, we land on the advertiser dashboard. I don't need products or offers set up yet, but here you'll be able to manage everything. In performance, you'll see the metrics of how your offers are performing. And under eligibility, you'll see deeper analytics and be able to really tune your offers, but that's coming soon. And while it lets you fund your offer budgets, and that's all done via Stripe. But I'm here because I have a product I want agents to talk about. So I need to create an offer that could be served to agents on the Age of My Network. Think of offers as structured suggestions that are tied to end user intent and agent context. Agents will evaluate these offers as part of the reasoning and if the offer makes sense in context, they'll include them in their conversation with the end user. So let's create an offer. We're getting a product to tie that offer to. So let's just add one. We'll use hoteltonight.com as our product, the URL, and select e-commerce as a category. We'll add a short description. It's an app that connects users with hotels offering steep discounts on unsold rooms. Now back to the offer. We'll make one for hotel tonight that's focused on last minute travel. We'll add a short description of the offer. This is part of what the e-journal uses aside if it's relevant to present to the user. In this case, we'll say with hotel tonight, you can Book hotels at the last minute, including same day and same night stays, at a big discount. Some properties include late checkout, exclusively through Hotel Tonight. Action, let's go with something like last minute deals. Now, look at the right side of the screen. 
When you finish filling this out, a conversation preview updates in real time. This shows a sample of how your offer might appear in a real agent response. Think of it like a simulated chat. There's a sample user prompt here at the top and an example of how an agent might use your offer details and present the offer. I love this feature because it helps you see how naturally the offer can show up in a conversation. And you'd get to sort of see the offer in action before it ever goes live. Okay, next up for our offer is setting up targeting. Here we choose when and where the offer appears. We'll include some intents, like travel booking, hotel booking, travel deals. That hopes the agents in the Age of Ike Network know this offer might fit when someone's planning a trip. You can also exclude intents to keep agents from showing the offer for a certain context. I really like this feature. Everything here helps ensure your offer appears in the right moment with the right context. Okay, next we'll set the budget and schedule. We'll put a start and end date for the offer and the budget. Okay, we'll hit review and submit. We get a full review of what we entered here, you can see, for the offer. And once we hit the submit for review button here, the offer will be submitted for human review. Oh, okay, well, in this case, I haven't set up our wallet to fund this uh, offer in our budget, but you've gotten to see how this all works. All right, let's test our setup from the user's point of view. Let's go to the front end of our personal assistant agent from earlier. So I'm a user using the personal assistant agent the developer put out there. I'll uh, ask it, help me find a cheap hotel in New York tonight. Uh, ideally a place that lets me sleep in before I leave. Okay, and you can see the agent has detected relevant context. It's pulled an offer from Agevine, the one we created in this case, and uh, it presented it in a helpful way. And if we click through to this offer, we can then go back on Agevine and we can see as the advertiser, an agent has presented our offer and a user engaged with it. And if we go over to the developer side, they can see the agent has made the request and served an offer. These conversions will be reviewed monthly and money will be released to the developer from the advertiser's budget. But that's it. No pop-ups, no banners, just a relevant offer served as a natural part of the conversation. That's Agentvine. And that's it. So thanks a lot for letting me walk you through Agentvine. If you're a developer making agents, you've got a great opportunity to monetize them with offers. If you're an advertiser, uh, you've got a great opportunity for your products to become part of real agentic conversations. Um, so please check us out, try us out, and thank you very much.